Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's explore the meaning and an example of the word median. Remember on the previous video we looked at the mean or the average. Now we're going to look at the median. And again we're going to use the same data sets. The two towns, town A and town B, where five houses were sold in each in the previous year of 2018. Now what we need to do first is we need to rewrite those data sets from smallest to largest value. Now for town A, the data set was already written that way, but we repeated it. But for town B, we had to rearrange them so we could write the house prices from lowest to highest. Now to find the median, we're essentially finding the middle value. So in each case, there are five data points, five data values, and we're going to find the middle one once we've lined them up for smallest to largest. And so the middle one, in this case the third one, would be this value right here, which means that the median for town A, the median house price would be $140,000, and the median house price for town B is $200,000. Now remember, on the last video, the average or the mean was $300,000 for town A and $200,000 for town B. So you can see that the value in this case for the median compared to the mean or the average is very different. In this case, the median gives you a much better sense of what the typical house price is like. So you can see that for town A, the typical house price would be the median of $140,000, and for town B, the typical house price would be $200,000. So if you're looking to buy a cheaper house, you want to go visit town A instead of town B, so you're not misled by the average value, which made it seem that town B was a much cheaper town to buy a house in than town A because of that huge outlier. An outlier is an unusually large or unusually small value compared to the rest of the data set. So in this case, the median will then give you a better sense, a better idea of what the typical price will, will be compared to the average where you were kind of misled. So here's a good example why you'd want to use the median rather than the average. And that is how it's done.